all VAT registered businesses need to submit a return to HMRC, and this is usually done on either a monthly or a quarterly basis. If you think the process is going to be complicated, think again. In Sage Business Cloud, it's easy and there's plenty of information available should you need any support. In this demonstration, we'll run through the steps to calculate, print and submit a VAT return using Sage Business Cloud Accounting Start, and you'll see how quick and simple the process is. To start, open the More menu, then click VAT Returns. Our list is currently empty, so to start with, click Create VAT Return. The first thing to do is to specify your VAT return period. Now in our example, we're running a quarterly, and we're going to run the VAT return from the 1st of January 2018 to the 31st of March 2018. Once you've specified your period, click Calculate. Any transactions that fall within the date range are included in the VAT return. Sage Business Cloud Accounting Start also checks if any transactions are dated prior to the period that haven't yet been accounted for on a VAT return. If any are found, you are prompted to include them. At this stage, none have been found, so the VAT return now shows the values in boxes 1 to 9. Although it's unusual, you can easily amend the value using the Adjust option if required. If you do, just click the link, enter the value and a reason for the change. There are two VAT reports available. The first one is the print option. This produces a copy of the VAT return, which includes the details of the VAT period and also the values of boxes 1 to 9. To print the second report, we'll click the detailed report. The detailed report provides a breakdown of the transactions that your figures are based on. We recommend that you either save or print copies of both reports for your records. When you click the Detailed Report option, you're prompted to choose a format. If you just want to print or save a copy of the report, we recommend that you choose the PDF option. When you choose PDF, the report downloads. When it's ready, you can access it from the menu bar along the top. Just like with the previous report, you can print or save the report using the icons in the top right corner. If the figures are correct, you can submit the VAT return directly to the Government Gateway from within the program. So we'll choose the Submit Online to the Government Gateway option. As you can see, my VAT and business settings are automatically picked up, and all I need to do at this stage is to enter my HMRC password. If I type that in and click Save, that's the VAT return complete. The transactions included in the return are flagged so they aren't going to be picked up on a future return and a copy of the return now appears on the VAT return list.